Can you talk about being the observer of your life? Kind of like what Christian Murty says, the observer is the observed. Thank you, Dennis of Kentucky. Hey, Dennis of Kentucky. Um, uh, yes, so the observer is the observed. So the assumption is, is when you're teaching this, often you sort of say the looking is behind, you know, what's behind the person, what's behind the thoughts. So there is often this teaching that is behind. The observer is looking at the person and looking at the world and it's kind of behind everything. But actually when you really dive into it and you really go into experience, you begin to realise that the observing, and this is so magical, this. I mean, this is really like Christianity, Islam, everything. Like all those stories, and I think they're metaphors, this is what they're all pointing to. And it's right here in your experience. It is your experience. So it, the looking, which we all think is separate looking at things, is the things. So your looking is actually the things. So we think consciousness is here, but when you pay attention, where does consciousness end and the world begin? So now when you're looking at the computer and you're watching and listening to me, you think that consciousness ends here, so your personal consciousness ends here and the world begins out there. Whereas actually your experiences, the consciousness is my face, is the computer, is the room, is the colours, is the sounds, is my voice. The consciousness are is the appearances. It's not there's not something that's conscious of them. There is consciousness, which is all. And this is, this is beautiful. So, so now when I'm speaking, there is something called an ear, which is like um, a headset, it's like headphones. So the ear is like an instrument. So the ear is not actually listening, the ear is interpreting sound, and then the consciousness is listening. And if you go into the consciousness, where is the difference between the sound of my voice and that which is conscious of it? Where is the difference between the sight of your computer and the consciousness of it? So all things are conscious. Wake up. And that's waking up. That's, that realisation is coming out of the dream of images and thoughts, the dream that the human lives. The sky is so beautiful at the moment, like a beautiful blue colour before it's going dark in between day and night, dusk. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that question, Dennis, really lovely. Thanks dear, you're so inspiring. Thanks Mara. <laughs> 